file manipulation. Being able to move and copy files from the command line is an important skill to have. We're going to look at the CP command and the move command. CP command is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be copying files as we would do in the GUI. The move command also is pretty self-explanatory in the sense that it moves files and directories. The unique thing that the move command does in a Linux Unix environment is it also is used to rename files and directories in the system. That might seem counterintuitive at first, but it really isn't. Considering that when you move something within a directory structure, you're actually not picking up the data and moving it, you're just renaming where it is in the file table. So actually re using the move command to rename things actually is quite logical. We'll look at both of those commands and how to use them. I think everybody's used to moving around in the GUI and copying files from the GUI interface. So for instance, if I was to open up my student home directory and want to copy a directory from in here, we'll try taking the packet tracer and moving it out here. That moves it out to the desktop. If I want to move it back, I can drag it back in here, and it moves it back in. If I want to just copy, what I can do is hold the control key down, and that will copy the directory. As you can see, it's in both places. If I want to rename the one that's on the desktop, I can right-click it and select Rename to name it something new. The contents are the same in both the PT5 and the packet tracer file as you can see. I'll move that into the trash now since we don't need that. Well how would we do that from the command prompt? Many times when working in a server environment you're not going to have access to a GUI especially when dealing with remote servers. And so it's important to have this basic skill of being able to do this from the command prompt. Also, many times you'll create scripts that will provide the same functionality, and that will require you to use the move and copy commands. So let's open up a terminal and let's start working with that. Okay, as you can see, I'm in the desktop folder, and I'll type pwd. That's my present working directory. So anything that I copy to this folder will end up on the actual desktop itself. So let's type LL in here. We don't see anything currently in there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move up one directory. Remember, CD dot dot will take me up one directory. LL from here. And I'm presently in my main working directory as student. What I want to do is copy this folder into the desktop folder. So let's do that. I'll type CP. And remember, there's a couple of different switches we can use. Since, this, since the Packet Tracer 5 folder contains other folders and files, we're going to have to copy it recursively. If I, try, if I don't use the recursive type that and I'll tell it to type to desktop it's going to come back with an error message about omitting the directory because I have it, it thinks I'm trying to move just a single file in reality I'm moving a whole series of files and directories that are inside of that directory control L to clear my screen and this time I'll type CP with the dash R the R stands for recursive and tells the system to recursively copy everything within that directory to its destination. Packet Tracer, Desktop, once again tab completion, always using tab completion when I can. Now watch the desktop off to the left and what you'll see is the Packet Tracer file or directory shows up there. Now I'm going to CD into the desktop directory I'll type LL and we can see we have the packet tracer 
directory now copied over. I'm going to make another directory. I'll be talking about the make dir commands in later videos, so don't worry about that. Many times you'll see me use commands that I haven't discussed yet, but I will be discussing them in future lectures. So make dir just allows me to make a quick directory, and I will. I'll make the dir1 directory, which will also put it on the desktop, as you can see. All right, now what I'm going to do is use a couple of different commands in here. I'm going to cd into packet tracer. Notice how nicely tab completion worked there. ls-l in here. And I'm going to copy the pt.comp file and I'm going to put it in the dir directory. Now knowing that the dir directory, dir1 directory is one directory above my present location, I can use the dot dot to represent the directory above me then slash, and then type dir1, and as you can see, that completed. And if it completes, that tells me that I'm in the right place in the directory system. I'll copy that file into there. Now I'll cd into the dir directory, pwd to see where I am. I'll type ls here, and sure enough, we can see the file. We can also use the move command to move information and rename. So it's important to remember the rename function. Here is the file that's in here right now. I'm going to use remove move to rename that file. I'll rename pt conf to packet.conf. Type ls and you can see that we no longer have a ptconf file, we have a packet.conf file. Now let's see where we are in the file system. Alrighty, what we're going to do next is we're going to move the packet tracer 5 directory. Well, actually, we're going to copy the packet tracer 5 directory and put it in the dir1 directory. So I will say copy and I'll use the archive bit. Archive is very similar to the recursive, but it copies everything including permissions and links. So the archive or the dash A switch with copy is used if you're going to copy let's say a DVD content or a CD content to a directory structure, it can be used. You can accomplish it in other ways, but this is the, this is the one that pretty much it takes all the information within that directory and copies it over. So I will type CPA, I'll go up one directory, and there we should find the packet tracer 5, we do, and I want to copy it to here. Notice, once again, the dots are really helpful and they allow us to use shortcuts instead of having to type out or even tab out uh, the path. So here I'm going up one directory from where I presently am, and where I presently am is in dir1. I want to go up to desktop, and as we can see on desktop, there is the packet tracer 5. So I'm saying copy with the archive switch, go up one directory, find that directory and then the dot copy it here remember a single dot always represents your current directory that you're in so no matter where I move in the file system if I want to copy something to that directory that I'm currently in I can use the dot to represent the current directory without having to type it out just very convenient okay so now what we'll do is we'll open up, there's the PT5 uh, direct, directory, and if I open up dir1 and go into packet tracer inside of the dir1 directory, and as you can see, it shows me exactly where I am in the directory structure. Click on here, you can see that also. Once again, I'm in the dir1 directory, then I have the same content. It's easy to move around with the CP or easy to move files and folders with the CP and move command. 
let's close this and what I'm going to do is move the packet tracer once again let's see where we are present working directory so I'm going to move the packet tracer 5 directory I'm going to move it up one level to the desktop and I'm going to call it PT5 so as you can see I'll type LL here the packet tracer 5 file that was here has now been moved out and it's currently on the desktop and I renamed the folder while moving it so once again here's the contents of the packet tracer 5 file and here's the contents of the PT5 file they're the same alright so let's go up one directory we can see all of those in there and we want to clean up our system now how we can do that easily is rm-rf star what we're saying is from our current directory because we're not giving it a path so we'll look in our current directory from here run the rm-rf which recursively moves the directories that I have inside or on the desktop and as you can see they all disappeared control L to clear my screen so that's using the CP and move commands two very important commands that you can use at the command line